Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we were doing a what's in my bag video. Um, I just I haven't really seen a lot of those videos out on YouTube at the moment. Like I know everyone went through a phase where they did it and every now and then people do like an updated version. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do one. I've never done one. Um, and it's kind of like a spoony edition as well because obviously I've got quite a lot of health problems so it's interesting to see what kind of things I carry around in my bag. Um, so, which probably isn't much different from an old person to be honest, but yeah. Um, so let's get started. So I'm just going to dive in and pick up the first thing. <laughs> oh, this is funny because if you guys see my Instagram you know I drink loads of these. I literally go through like three boxes a week and there's 10 in a box that's like 30 Capri Suns. I'm drinking one right now, a blackcurrant one. This is an orange one. I do tend to carry these around just for emergencies. Um, as you guys probably know, uh, being a potsy is like you get dehydrated super quick and you've got to keep your blood volume up so you don't pass out. So very important to carry around. Okay, the next, I don't really have too many things in here so this is probably going to be a short video. Okay, the next thing, oh, let me talk about my bag first of all. So, this bag is from, oh, I don't want to get the sun on it. This bag is from Australia. Um, it's from a shop called Colette. I think this was about $20 or $30. Um, I love the detail. It's like almost like woven. I can't, let me try and get it closer. It's almost like woven here. Um, and I just, oh, I just love it. I think it's really modern. It's big. Uh, you can also button these side bits together if you didn't want as much bag room or you didn't want it to open as much. Um, but yeah, so that's from Colette. I will try and find out how much this was. Obviously, being in the UK, you probably can't get this. But yeah, I love this bag. Um, so back to the purse now this is also from Colette now I did kind of get this to kind of match so as you can see the cream is the same color and the little golden um, bit there is the same color as this so um, I actually really like I love the purse as well because it's got lots of space for your cards loads and loads and loads of space where some uh, purses only have one side this has got two it's got pockets in there and in here which as you can see is full of cards like honestly, let's just whip out these for a minute. I've got loads and loads and loads of cards from places: medical ID, pharmacies, student cards, criminal card, rec criminal card. Make me sound like a criminal. No, this is a criminal criminal record screening, so it lets people know that you've been cleared. I don't know if this expires. No, it doesn't say. But yeah, these are all from Australia. So obviously, if you guys know from Instagram, I used to live there and um, recently and I'm looking to go back so yeah that's that and then as far as this bit goes uh, I don't really have <laughs> I'm poor uh, I don't know what this is that's just from the bank um, yeah so there's like another uh, bit there and the same on the, the other side I've got some Namco little tickets from the get from the arcade that I need to claim saving up my tickets to get something big and then obviously you've got your money pouch in the middle so that's it for the purse really obviously that's quite an essential thing to carry in your bag uh, moving on God, my nose is so itchy here. Oh. <laughs> I had my monkey here and I was going to put it up with my, te with my teddy bear but then I realised it's proper my laptop up, so back you go <laughs> okay so the next thing is a charger. Now this lead doesn't actually work, so I don't know why I bother having that in there. But obviously, charge my phone or whatever, iPad. And I've got another lead here that's like three meters long, but it's so tangled and the wires are all tangled inside that it doesn't work either. Or you have to hold it in like a certain position for it to work, but I guess you could get both these chargers to work if you held it there in like a certain angle. Um, so if I really needed to charge it then I've got one. Okay, now I'm getting more into the spoonier type things. Okay, so I've got some plasters here. Um, simply because I'm quite clumsy and I do cut myself or injure myself a lot, so it's always good to have something like that, I guess. 
um, I used to have like antibacterial wipes in my purse, but I don't anymore. Okay, so the next thing is some paracetamol. These are just Tesco's brand. I don't like these because the tablets are quite big and every time I try to swallow them, I choke on them. Not choke, but like go, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got them anyway just in case. I can always crush them up or halve them. Um, yes. Okay, now I've got two things here. Um, this thing here is a little pill bottle. If you're from America, you'll probably recognise this. This is obviously not from this country. Um, because you don't get tablets in bottles like this but this is just an old one that I keep a little stock of my more important medications for emergencies uh, like to slow my heart rate down or to keep my blood pressure up like the really important things um, that in a situation where I don't have my medicine for whatever reason that I can have access to it because it's really really important that I do so yeah that's just a little stock of them Next thing is a pulse, how do you pronounce this? Pulse oximeter, which basically measures your pulse and your oxygen. You just put your finger in like that. You may uh, recognise one of these if you have ever been to hospital or even if you're an athlete, sometimes people use these to measure their heart rates. So at the moment, my oxygen is 97 and my pulse is 98, which is pretty alright. Um, so if I'm out and about and I need to know what my heart rate is if it's too high I can take some medicine blah 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 handy to have so get these on ebay um, for like 10 pounds or less okay I've only got a few more items just, there's a zip in here let's check I've got nothing in oh <laughs> I do okay so in one of my pockets I have a what is this I thought it was some convenience store apparently and I spent £1.65 I don't know what on but receipt and I've got some nail glue always handy to have in your bag yeah I've got some nail glue um, and that is for because I went through a period where I was wearing like the stick on nails just to try and grow my ones underneath a little bit um, and because they were so cheap I had to keep Glowing them back on again, so that's why that's in there. Um, okay, these next two things are essential definitely for like autumn, winter. Um, I have some Vaseline, just the original, and I have uh, this is from Boots Lip Salve Strawberry Lip Balm. So these two definitely, definitely needed in winter, especially English winters, they are freezing, um, and obviously I tend to not lick my lips a lot, but I tend to like yeah I guess I mess with my lips a lot and lick them and put stuff on all the time and especially liquid lipsticks they dry out your lips so definitely definitely need these two um, I don't really use this Vaseline, I've had this Vaseline for like two years now uh, and you can probably see I have not used a lot of it whatsoever it's probably not going to focus but yeah um, and then this one I have used there's not much left for this one I love the smell of this and this, I use this daily I think I've gone up through about five of these um, within the last year or so. Um, and the second last thing is this Intimately Beckham perfume. I love this. I'm gonna, this one. Mm, yes! Yeah. But yeah, I love this. This smells so good. Um, my mum has bought me this for about three Christmases in a row now and I love this stuff. Like, this is from last Christmas. I haven't used this as much because half the time I forget it's in my bag. Whereas usually when I go out, um, I'll use something that's on on my dresser. So I probably I don't usually I'll like spray that when I go out, and then I'll be like, oh, I've got that on now, so I can't really put that on. Um, but yeah, so I can't. I said the second last thing. I've got two more things in here. So the next thing I have is some deodorant. Um, mainly because I don't know. I just not that I sweat loads, I just feel like I like to feel fresh, like sometimes if you've been out for a while and you haven't come back to that, like if you've been out for a few hours or whatever, sometimes I feel like I just want to freshen up or smell nice, which is by that time I'll use these two, because um, obviously the other smell's probably worn off by now. Um, okay, and the last thing, oh god, I swear I've got hiccups in every video, I think, I think it's the Cadbury Sons. Okay, the next thing, the last thing I have is my Tangle Teaser. This is a new edition. I used to have one, it was purple, pretty much the exact same as this, and I left it in Australia. So 
this is quite a new addition um, to my bag uh, but yeah it's just easy to have something like this in your bag because then especially if it's a windy day you can just grab your hair like this and brush it and keep it nice and you know tangle free it's why it's called a tangle piece so yeah so that's pretty much everything that's in my bag um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was a bit of a I don't know insight to my life a bit more I guess like what, what type of things I carry around in my bag um but yeah so thanks for watching give this a big thumbs up like comment subscribe I always say that give it a thumbs up and then I go like comment and subscribe when liking and thumbs up are the same thing but yeah so do all that stuff um all my links for social media and stuff like that all down below Go check them out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!